So in early December, Zero Dark Thirty hit the Oscar race and hit it hard, emerging from both the industry and audience blind spot with several Best Picture wins right out of the gate. AFI, the National Board of Review, as well as the film critics organizations of New York, Washington, D.C., and Boston all named Zero Dark Thirty as their pick for the top film of the year. Was the race suddenly over before it began? That seemed to be the case, but then things began to quickly unravel. Right before Christmas, the acting head of the CIA, Michael J. Morrell, who had taken over when David Petraeus had to resign due to an affair, released an internal memo throughout the agency that said Zero Dark Thirty was not a realistic portrayal of the facts. The main point of contention is that the film not only shows extensive waterboarding of detainees, but depicts that technique as being what enabled the agency to track down and kill Osama bin Laden. Furthermore, Morrell stated that Zero Dark Thirty boils down the huge number of people who participated in the mission to just a few to make for more compelling entertainment that does not reflect the facts. Ooh, not the kind of quote Sony wants floating around during Oscar season. But wait, the story deepens. Turns out that Morrell most likely released said internal memo because of two letters he got from the Senate Intelligence Committee, released to the public last week, asking exactly what the CIA said to Catherine Bigelow and Mark Bull that resulted in a film like Zero Dark Thirty. That's right, the CIA cooperation that was once a bragging point for the flick has now become a scarlet letter for both. And like many angry old people, the same senators also wrote letters to Sony, chastising the studio for basically promoting torture by releasing a film that portrays it as effective. Now, like Morrell, Bigelow and Bull have gone on the defensive, claiming they'd always admitted to taking some creative liberties with Zero Dark Thirty. Hmm, I must have missed that ad. But we'll soon know who's telling the truth as the Senate Intelligence Committee plans to review all the records of contact between the CIA and the filmmakers. Not so good for Zero Dark Thirty's Oscar prospects, nor for Michael J. Morrell, who was hoping to be upgraded from acting head of the CIA to head of the CIA for reals. Instead, the gig just went to Obama's chief counterterrorism advisor, John Brennan, who is also said to have been intimately involved in the hunt for bin Laden, but didn't blab to anyone about it. So what do you think? Did you believe that Zero Dark Thirty was an accurate accounting of the hunt for Osama bin Laden? Do you still believe it is? And if not, does that affect how you feel about the movie, entertainment and or Oscar-wise? Plus, should the CIA really be dealing this heavily with Hollywood? Look how nicely Argo turned out. They declassified some really old documents and Ben Affleck made a nice little movie about it that made everyone feel good about themselves, this country, Canada, and Ben Affleck. I'm Grace Randolph and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.